One extra. Day marks the release of Stormzy's album, Heavy Is The Head. And did you really think he'd be anywhere but on the One Extra Breakfast Show with me? Come on. How are you? I'm very good, man. How are you? I'm feeling blessed. Amen. Stormzy, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, on a day that is going to go down in political history. It's great to have a big album like this to, to kind of cut through all the noise mm-hmm. of the politics today, but this must be a bit of a bittersweet morning for you. Yeah, it's like, um, it's jokes, because I was, I, was I was signing albums. As soon as it hit midnight, I was signing, we did a pop-up shop and we were signing albums. And there was like, that was like the kind of, it was like a, a dark cloud. That's what it felt like. It felt like a dark cloud and... You could feel it. It's very like I've even even like w- waking up today. You can feel it. It's in the air. It's in it's in your bones. So, <sighs> but it's cause for celebration today because heavy is the head, the album, out now. We were sitting in the same position like two and a half years ago. Mad, isn't it? Twenty seventeen. Mad. Here we are, album two. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling very. I'm feeling very blessed. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm feeling. Yeah, my album's out and musically, spiritually, this is like, this is all I've ever wanted to do. I wanted to, I just wanted to be an artist who releases albums and bodies of work and releases art. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling so proud, man. I'm feeling very proud of myself. Yeah, it's a beautiful, like, I, 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 it's, it's always a weird thing. You go studio and you pour your whole soul into an album, but you, you don't, I don't know what's going on. As in like, when you release it, like, you can you just gotta hope that you your art connects, you know what I mean? So but I'm so proud of it, man. We're gonna get into into the album shortly, but I wanna talk about the title, Heavy is the Head. Yeah. Cause every time we meet up, Storms, you join us every big release day. Yeah. Every single time your star is shining brighter than yeah, it was yeah, the last time we met. When did you when did you realize the weight of your power? Because I think it's a very fitting um, album title. It's do you know what it's funny you say that. It's it's been a slow it's been a proper slow realization. In 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 the in, 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 I can honestly say probably in a mad naive way as well, you know. Like now 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 that I'm here, like now that I'm 26 in 2019, I can say in a naive way. So like a lot of the time, maybe up until like this year, like last year, I was very I used to, I underestimated like who I'd become and my voice and my reach and all of that because I would, for example, I'll just say something in an interview or do something here and or do something there and next day wake up and it's like a, a headline and I think right get off man like what the but then I'm, I'm thinking no don't be stupid storms you 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 you're, you're who you are today isn't it like do you know what I mean so it's been a slow realization but I'm I'm coming to I'm at peace like I'm at peace with like I understand it and I'm, I embrace every single side of it like the weight while the kingship the vulnerability I embrace all of it was yeah. there was there a particular moment in your career you say it kind of hit you this year when you realized how heavy the crown was? Um, the scholarship. The scholarship, uh, was that last year when I first announced? Yeah, last year. That was like when I'm, and I, because, and especially because I was so like unapologetically like, like it's a, it's a black scholarship. It's, it's for black, it's for black students. And when I announced that, in uh, like, <laughs> I, I couldn't I couldn't quite believe it. Maybe I was naive, but like as in I thought I thought that like, I thought that was a great thing, and then announced it, and then there was so much. Listen, I, I, my DMs that day, my messages that day was like I felt like the whole I felt like England was shouting at me, like saying "Wow, sh- shut up, throwing tomatoes at me, like bruv, how can it just be for black kids?" No, 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 and I was thinking, raw is bruv. I just put, I just did a scholarship for for two sh- black students, and this has caused, and I, that's when I clocked, okay. Like if if I'm gonna be like unapologetic in my blackness and like and who I am and what I stand for in my community and who 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 I decide to help and I was like yeah that's that's if this is the, this is two black students just two this is just a scholarship for two black students and this has wound the nation up to this point I said okay I understand that well, um a lot of a lot of my agendas a lot of the things that I'm gonna want to do will have resistance and backlash but we move. 
and it's oh, oh you're flexing storms oh uh, you gotta flex sometimes you're flexing on this put sometimes. a house on the hill easy which, which I can I can testify to because uh, I come I drive, on dirty I drive, <laughs> I drive past this house every day <laughs> and I'm like bro Stormzy really lives there yeah, come on my G Stormzy my dog. how do you navigate the world of being a superstar with being relatable how do you how do you toe that line um, because your house is on the hill now, for real. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you know what I do? I just I, I embrace, I embrace my truth. Like as in, I, I, the human, the man. Uh, that's like that's uh, growing up how man grew up and around my people and it, like around my family and friends. I'm who I am for the rest. Of, like there's 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 morals and there's attitudes and there's an identity to me that is solidified. I'm so South London. I'm so ends. I'm so like. But that's me forever. Like so, a lot of the time I meet people and they're like, "Oh, you're so cool," and I'm like, "Bruv, like that's that no, nothing, nothing can ever change that for man." So it's like, like yeah, I just, I just, it's, I find it mad easy, you know. I find it super easy. I feel like, yeah, man. I think like if if you was a certain level of like, um, what's the word? If you if you knew yourself before like um, success you'll know yourself after, do you know what I mean? I think sometimes the struggle comes when you didn't know yourself and then success becomes who you are. And then, do you know what I mean? You embrace it to the point where it kind of turns you a bit, do you know what I mean? It distorts your character. So yeah, I'm good. I knew myself before. So success is just kind of like a, a, a little addition to who I am, it's cool. Love that. You've worked with some incredible artists on this album. Yeah. How did you decide who was going to be a part of this journey? Um, Just, I, I always say I'm at service to the art, like a proper, and. I've, I always feel like sometimes maybe more than people would know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not sure if that's on my behalf or in terms. I, I'm not sure, but I, when it comes to music, there's nothing that I'm a, I'm a musician. I'm an artist. There's nothing. That's my. That's that's who I am. Like as much as sometimes my name. Sometimes I feel like my name becomes this and this that. Like, no, I'm a musician. I'm an artist. Like I love music more than anything. When in studio. There's nothing I more I dedicate myself more to or commit myself more to than art. So when I go to studio, I, I'm, I'm at service to the art. I love music, so I'm, I'm at service to whatever's going in the room, like if whatever chord, whatever string. So I always just do it off of that. So if I make a if I make a song, I always feel like, what's the best idea here? There's a Kanye quote where he says, um, "The best idea wins," and I always think whatever I need to do to connect with the soul. So whether that's like, um using the shackle sample and then I tried to sing that first and it's like my voice my voice ain't gonna hit your soul the same way Tiana Major Nine voices mm. and I hear that voice I'm like that voice can evoke emotion and evoke an emotion in someone that I can't so invite her into my world and please like like a paintbrush like Tiana Major Nine's a paintbrush Heady One's a paintbrush Yeba's a paintbrush to help me paint like all these ideas in my head you know what I mean so I always say like whatever the best idea is so, for example, like Heady One on Audacity, that's that is brilliant. That is like a, a Stormzy verse, a Stormzy verse first is wicked, but the, the prospect of having Heady One on that beat coming in second is brilliant. That's a but he's gonna paint that picture so brilliantly. So bring him in and paint it, man. Yeah. Are there any collaborations that didn't make it? To this, like, did you did you par Jay Z again or? Nah, you can't <laughs> you know par I mean? the jigger man, you know. Did you tell Rihanna that? Do you know what? This one's not for you, oh, Rihanna. Wish. I've just I thought about it, thought and about it, you're really, not right for this chorus. Really. Now, do you know what? Um, there's not there's not many songs that didn't make. Well, there's a there's there's two or three. There's um, yeah, but none of them had features actually. You know, nah. Every every and I'm very specific. Like, I'm quite meticulous when it comes to music. So. As soon as like I, I I've got the idea for the person way before I've even sent the song, like as in I would I would be thinking ah oh, Tiana right here or ah oh, Yeba and before I've even be, I didn't I didn't even know Yeba like when I when, when I wanted this I didn't I didn't even know Yeba I just thought bruv, listen that voice is gonna be so delicate here and be, be so beautiful so when when I invite people into my world I, I'm, I usually know exactly like I've painted the picture already and I just need them to come do their bit so usually when I bring a feature and it, it, it gets put out you'll hear it yeah do you know what's mad mm. having known you for a few years yeah the way you talk about music now is crazy is it? like you talking about chords yeah, and yeah, strings yeah, yeah. Oh, and, I love it man art. I love it man it's crazy like a couple years ago when I first met you yeah. you was just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in your trackie, just barring. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you, do you ever feel like there's a weight of expectation? Like people still want you to be grime stormsy, and you've you've uh, evolved. Hundred percent. But I feel like 
hundred percent. You get you get you get that like you get the minority people say, ah, oh, where's he? Like a lot of people like I still get the kind of like pop star brush and the um mainstream brush and I always say bruv if you've tuned in like and, and I get it like in this day and age sometimes people aren't as attentive but I've always I've, I've been a melody lover I love R&B as much as I love rap I love gospel as much as I love hip hop I love soul as much as I love grime do you know what I mean and I, that's always been incorporated into me from so even when I come into the live lounges like from my first live, like, live lounge where I'm singing soul dead like and I'm trying to do I try to do a mashup of like Rich and Drake and Joe and and you could in my um, initial EPs, the Dream of Disease EP, like you can see, like I've been trying, I've been, I've been trying to become this musician I am today. Like it's, I've been trying for ages. I've always been, I've always been brilliant on the mic. I've always been a sprayer. I've always been a barer. That's like undeniable. From, Come on, from you know what I mean. From young, that's eat. Like that's what I do. Like that's my bread and butter. I'll always, till the day I die, I'll always be able to pick up a mic and spray it and be the best in the room. That's that's undeniable. But in terms of my musicality. I've always wanted to be this musician. Like I've always, I've tried, I've attempted. I've, I love, I love music so much. I love melody. I love soul. I love, I love R and B so much. But from, from when I come in the game, if you, if you, I can, we could do like a YouTube uh, playback or like my music playback, and you'll see. Ah, oh, he's been trying it for time. A lot of the time, I wasn't, I wasn't getting it. It wasn't top bins. It was I was missing. I was proper missing. Like when I we we can watch my first live lounge and have a laugh about it. It's like oh flipping it. I tried everything. I tried to sing and but proper and but I was doing that so wholeheartedly because I loved it. I just proper wanted to sing. These are songs I love. So it's like I was learning to become this musician. G Sap you hear the melodies, you hear all the like the pay the, the chords and all of this. And then now Getting in the studio this time around, I was like, bruv, I'm that musician. I can, I'm, I know how to use my voice better now. So it's not about trying to sing a whole, it's about, okay, use your texture, know your tone, know your key, do you know what I mean? And and, and if it's not you, bring in Tiana Major, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. So yeah, man, I, 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 I just love music and I've, and I've learned to become this musician and I think I'm a master of my craft now. I feel like I'm finally the musician I want to be. Like I, I got back home last night and I, I, I listened to the album and I was so proud, I was super proud of myself, like, like, as in one of the proudest moments, I'm listening back to the rhythms, I'm like, bruv, nah, Storms, you made beautiful music, bruv. Like, be proud, of this This is the music you always wanna, like, when I listen to Frank, when I listen to Kanye, when I listen to Chris Martin, Adele, I say, this, I've made rhythms, that like, when I hear it, I'm like, bruv, you made that Storms, bruv, like, you, yeah, you, you've connected, that's how, you, yeah, man, and I'm, I'm proud, man, I'm proud. Ah, oh, Storms, you're so, part so, of, you're part of this generation that is, is thriving now. Yeah. You're, you're headlining Glastonbury. Amen. You're going on a world tour. Amen. What's your relationship like with like the OGs? Do <laughs> Um. Oh, with some of them, it's beautiful. Like that. Like. Uh, like. Oh, there's people who, from when I've come in the game. The love and the respect they've shown me and, the, and they've embraced me. And I always say it's so funny because remember, I'm a proper, like, my generation, man grew up, man didn't grow up on, man didn't grow up on Nas and Jigga and, like, who have mob deep. Man didn't grow up on that. Man grew up on all the all the Grime legends and all the, like, UK legends. So, but there's, from, from when I come in the game, you got Gets, Wretch, Bizzle, Gigs, like, man, who have always, like, I'm talking, like, and remember, I'm a fan. I'm coming in the like meeting these man is like, oh my god, get what wretch that like, gigs. So these man just come and embrace man and always always show man love. But a lot of the time, like of course, and it, this is like this is not even to be misconstrued. But of course, like I feel like someone like me, uh, sometimes I feel like it's a it's a it's been like a weird um it's been a weird battle like for me because it's like I feel like I I've come in the game and of course I've reaped a lot of benefits that the older lot would have had to bite the bullet for. Do you get what I mean? And, and that's that's no one's fault, do you know what I mean? And But they they had to go through a lot. And do you know what I mean? They had to take a lot of disrespect and a lot of blacklist and a, to, and a lot of like not getting their fruits or their flowers, not getting the fruits of their labor. Do you know what I mean? And I've come in 2014, 2015, young lad. And I've kind of, I thank God, like I've had one of those journeys where I've, I've, I've been blessed with the awards or, and uh, um and all, and all those kind of things that like the kind of the, the material things that come with what we do. So I think sometimes I'm I'm like, do you know what I mean? That that comes with whatever. Do you know what I mean? That comes with certain um 
I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I'll say, like, because you open the Sunday Times rich list and Stormzy's on there. Exactly. And Stormzy's headlining Glastonbury. Yeah. Do you feel like whether consciously or not there is a resentment yeah, ever? Um, yeah. I think I think sometimes, I think sometimes I, I'm just like, and this is, I swear to God, this is going to sound, I'm not even in a patronising way, yeah? I swear to God, you see, as a human, and between me and God, I understand it fully. I'm, and I fully get it because I'm sometimes a reminder of a lot of annoying things, and I get it. Like, as in, bruv, like, for example, like, there's, um, there's, like, how do I, like, I, like I've, I've got Brit Awards, for example, yeah? But how come Bear Man don't have Brit Awards? Which they should, of course. Uh, how come I headline Glasto when, like, bro, there's, and I fully, 100%, but uh, on my behalf, of course, like, man's reaping the benefit of, like, a whole generation that had to kind of, do you know what I mean, fight and and die and, like, on the front line, do you know what I mean, for man? And, and now I've come in, but I always say, I'm, I've always come in, I'm very thankful. I always pay, you know, I'm, I show nothing but love, homage, and respect, do you know what I mean? But I guess sometimes, I'm a representation of annoying things and especially being a grime artist, yeah? Grime's a very pure genre. Like, mm. it's like something like, it's don't, no one wants the mainstream touching it, no one wants it to be watered down, no one, people like their grime, grime, innit? Like, and then you get me coming in and I'm it's like, yep, grime, 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 ooh, give me the gospel and I'm gonna do a little, little mix and I'm gonna, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it's like, whoa, whoa, you're kind of, and then of course I, I'm, I can say, I, like, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a secret. Of course, you see, even the way the media uses the word grime mm. and how they kind of, they they absolutely slaughter it and they don't use it correctly. They just throw it next to it. I'm one of those reasons. I'm a reason for that. Not not but not deliberately, not my fault, but of course, I've kind of, uh, um, G-Sap's a grime album. You can't listen to G-Sap and get, like, say if you don't know grime, you can't go and listen to, G you can't listen to Heavy as the Head and know what grime is after. There's about two or three, four, Grime tracks on there. Do you know what I mean? So I've kind of I'm this I'm this kind of I'm this thing I guess for some of the older generation that like I'm I'm a reminder of some annoying things. I'm a bit I'm a bit annoying, but I could never <laughs> care. <laughs> you talk you talk about the people that embraced you. Yeah, it was a long list. Yeah, uh, I would say gets. I love Rich, Gigs, uh, Bizzle. Uh, P money, like there's and there's probably there's probably a few others, a few other OGs. I, I, um, I say that because there's a name you're not saying on that list. Ah, who Wiley? Ha, has Wiley embraced well, you, you or not? Know, Wiley's always embraced me. Wiley, I, I love that, bruv. Wiley, I, and I, I should have mentioned Wiley as well. Wiley's always embraced me. He's always showed me nothing but love. You, when, you see, when I come in again, Wiley always says, um, he always used to say, "Fly like storms." Like you're gonna take this thing further. Like he proper understood. Like Wiley understood that. Wiley hasn't got Brit Awards. That's do you, do you get what I mean? But, but what and and Stormzy does. But that's because of I can't have no Brit. I'm who am I without Wiley? Do you get what I mean? Like who am I without Wiley? So it's like Wiley knows, of course, that the bullet he had to buy it like for for me for all these kids, the all these young black boys like who picked up a mic like like he bit the bullet so that we could fly and he says he from when I come in the game he always said fly he said go further like take this thing further than man ever could do you know what I mean and uh, brother I love him to I love it I love I got nothing but love and respect for Wiley man super like from I swear to you I got nothing but love of course Wiley's Wiley sometimes sometimes he'll at me on a little and I think whoa whoa, whoa bro like what well, you hitting me he'll hit me with some free I'll catch a stray from Wiley I'm like yo why we, like even with Wiley flow I dropped Wiley flow and um he was out, he's like, Storms 8, Storm, Storms 8, one day, one day, Storms 8, we're all gonna have to talk because people, people act like they're paying homage, but they're not paying homage. They're, no, no. Nah. And I'm like, no, that I'm impression like, is <laughs> mad. That is, it was like Wiley was in the room. I'm like, Wiley, I love you, bro. Wiley, I love you, bro. Like, I love you and respect you. I could never diss you on a record, bro. Like, ever, like, do, do, you know, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't, like, so, but, I, and that's how I feel with all the older lot. Any, any, like, I understand why some people can be annoyed by my existence, but I promise us, and between me and God, I've kept my heart very clean. I've showed nothing but love and respect and homage at every single, from 2014 when I come in the game. So for me, it's like any kind of resentment or resistance or whatever I get now, I can wholeheartedly kind of put a middle finger up to it and say, I don't, I've done my bit of like respect and homage, you know what I mean? So yeah, 
a couple of months ago, Storms. Yes, indeed. You promised me you would spend this morning with me. I did. And here you are. Here I am. I said we're going to sit down and we're going to have a proper chat. Yes. On album release day. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining me, Storms, because I want to I wanna talk to you about something which I wasn't sure if I was going to talk to you about. Okay. But I was like, do you know what? Me and Storms, you go way back. Way back. And nothing is off limits. Nothing. And I listened to the album mm-hmm. and there was a very personal song on there. Yeah. And I said, you know what? This is my boy. Yes. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to talk to him because the next song we're going to play, mm-hmm. very, very personal to you. Yeah. And you've shared you've shared a part of your life with us. Yeah. It's the song that addresses your very public breakup yeah. with Maya. Yeah. What was that like, Storms? Like that playing out in front of everyone's eyes. That must be, diff- like breakups are difficult when they happen behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. What's that like when you wake up and your, your breakup is, is in newspapers? Um, it's like, it's surreal. I think it's surreal, like, for, for both of us, like, of course. It's a very, like, it's, I always say, it's, 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 it's like, you know, you can see, you can see it something, you know, like, you can, in, in this day and age of celebrity culture and, like, like all these kind of, like, uh, blogs and whatnot, you see all these, like, stories and you don't. That's some. That's people's truth. That's a. That's people's reality. To that. To like the internet it can just be like a, like a topic. But that's a re. That's someone's actual reality. Like, do you get what I mean? Like, so, it was very surreal to like have your, actual real life reality be like on the public forum and like, do you get what I mean? And it wasn't. It was. It was nothing in my control or our control in terms of like, it wasn't like us putting up a pic on the gram and like being able. It was like, nah, this is like. This is, this is, yeah, your reality spilled out, like, so, yeah. Did you feel like, because you, because you let people in so much to your relationship, we went through that relationship with you. Yeah. Did you <laughs> feel like you had to put a song like this out? Um, I felt like, I felt like I needed to put this song out, not because, not because of that. I felt like, well, I guess there's, there's a, an element to that. So for me, I always said I want my albums to always be a super, um, reflection of who I am as a person. Like, a, 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 it should be who I am today personified through music. It should be my truth married with music to 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 give you a body of work that I could play to you, and you understand exactly where I'm at in life. You understand what I stand for, my morals, what I've been through, what I'm going through, my dreams, my fears, and all of that. So, I, for me, it was like, okay, I'm about to come um, fourth quarter 2019 with my with my um, second album. And I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about glass, though. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about every child and tribulation, every end of the spectrum. But then I'm not going to talk about the that thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, if, like for, for any like proper like supporter of mine who, who listens, it's like you can listen to a whole body of work. And if that rhythm wasn't on there, it's kind of like, yeah, but storms, that thing, like that no one spoke, like it came out and there was never addressed. And it was like, is that ever, do you know what I mean? So for me, it was kind of like just being honest in my truth. Like, do you know what I mean? But the 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 strange thing about it is that it's not my truth alone, innit? Like it's someone else's truth and I'm sharing that truth. And it's like, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the scary thing about it, yeah. Is it scary to put a song like this out? 100%, because it's, it's like, it's, as I said, it's not just my truth. It's me like, it's me throwing... Maya out there as well, do you know what I mean? Like, as in, like, that's, like, that's her, that's something we shared, and it's on a public forum, like, everything happened so publicly, it was a public, but it was, it was a hot topic, and then, I, I'm going on record now, and I'm, 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 I'm apologising, and I'm, and I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm laying it, I'm laying, I'm laying, I'm trying to lay it all bare, and I'm trying to, like, like, be very truthful and and be very clear in 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 my truth as well. Like I'm not trying to like kind of shy away from it. I always feel like uh, public disrespect. Do you know what I mean? Like it was a public disrespect. Do you know what I mean? So do, you can't really privately address that. Do you know what I mean? Without like it was so it was a public disrespect that I guess needed a public apology. Do you know what I mean? Like and away from and it's this is gonna sound. Uh, maybe a bit ridiculous because of course it's art it's going out to the world in it but i promise you like away from the world like forget the world of course the world hears it that like, let's not be naive to that but like it was like okay like this is and to be fair i didn't i didn't think i would have the opportunity to speak to her or address it so i was like yo like as a musician 
And that, I guess that's the annoying thing about going out with a rapper or a musician or an artist is that, like, my art was, like, a, a way to, like, do you know what I mean, publicly apologise and publicly say, yo, like, because there's been no, there's no conclusion to it. There's no, like, yo, it's like, and it's like me saying, yo, bruv, are you mad? That girl, like, gay man the world, do you know what I mean? And I disrespect it. And that's the, that's the L. That's, the, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's the... Like the internet, the internet's a funny place that people like proper press on things, but it's like, yo, like, that's, that's, I'll, I'll wholeheartedly say that, like, bruv, that's a phenomenal woman who gave man, like, loved man wholeheartedly, gave man everything, and would, and was man's everything, and you, you acted, you, you disrespected and was inconsiderate and was, and, 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 yeah, a big disrespect on it publicly as well when you look were so public. So it's like, the, I guess the least I can do is just, be super, do you know what I mean? Like, come out and say, yo, like, come on. Like, so even in the lyrics, like, if you if you listen to the song, it's like, I say, um, you gave me the world and then I get, and then I gave you disrespect. Hand on my heart, this is my biggest of regrets. Like, I wanted to be very black. I didn't want to do, like, I didn't want it to be cryptic or poetic. Like, well, I guess that it is poetic to a sense, but it was like, nah, I bruv, I'll, I'll, I'll say that 100%, like, loud and clear, like, that. that's a brilliant woman, like, who, who we shared something very deep and she loved me wholeheartedly. And man went out, I, I disrespected, do you know what I mean? So I guess the world, the world, does the world deserve to know that? No, she deserves to know that. Do you know what I mean? The world, does the world deserve to know? I get, they I, they get it through my art, but I, I guess I'm, I try to communicate that to her through my, through my art, yeah. Storms, we're going to get into that song right now. Yeah, One you. question. Yeah. Did Maya hear the song before the album dropped? <laughs> she knew, she knew about it. She knew about it. Yeah. But she's she's hearing it for the first time, like everyone else, when the album drops. Um, I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. Storms, man. <laughs> Feel to me. My heart aches listening to that. You know. Same. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of emotional people getting in touch. That is, what's that like listening back to that, knowing that hundreds of thousands of people just simultaneously listen to that? Um, it's like. It's so, it's so, it's, uh, it's mad. It's proper, it's, uh, and it's so, even for me, this is like, trust me, like, this is, this is that, the uh, I've, I've never, like, I think the closest, like, I've probably, like, been to kind of laying it bare on the song was Lay Me Bare on my last album. And that, that was a way easier task. That was a way easier, like, uh, feeling, like, to, to, to get off my chest. Whereas this is like, but as I said, like, uh, this is a proper uh, reality. Like, that's, it's not only my truth. Like, that's the, that's the only thing I'm kind of, I get anxious about or worried about is that, like, yo, that's, even talking about it, so, so it's like, right, that's a, ri that's a proper real, like, it's not, that's not, en that's not the entertainment, like, that's not entertainment. That's not the, like, that's not the press run. That's like a proper, genuine, like, the, the deepest thing man's ever, by a country mile ever been, like, in with a, like involved in all that, the 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 heaviest my heart's ever like felt all that. Do you know what I mean? So it's like that's a real situation that with with some like that's some. Do you know what I mean? That's someone else. It's not my truth. That's her truth as well. And that's like her. That's me throwing. I'm just saying her name. Do you know what I mean? That's me throwing her into the mix. Do you know what I mean? Especially like and uh, I like that comes with its own. Do you know what I mean? There's, there'll be loads of conversation and loads of topic when people are trying to probably move on and it's it's a do you know what I mean even like even even if even man talking about it the mad thing about it is that it's not it's not like it's not a TMZ topic it's not like it's not this is a proper I swear to god it's like super real realer than people may even realize do you know what I mean so it's a very strange thing to put that much realness I've, I don't think I've ever been that real do you know what I mean like I'd like I thought I'd thought I'd, you know what I mean yeah yeah real 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 and it's like right now that's real like do you know what I mean and I just felt like, as I said, like a public disrespect. Do you know what I mean? Like, I guess it needs a public conclusion. Do you know what I mean? And a public apology and a public, yeah. And it's art and it's real and it's that. But the only, the only thing that it's like that's someone else's, isn't it? Like I'm sharing it. Like that's, it's not just that's like I'm throwing her name out there. So it's yeah. It's it's this is totally, totally new territory for me. Like as in, uh, like this is like whoa. Like this is like. Yeah, it's like, yeah, so look. It's, it's very personal to you. And I feel like we don't ask men enough. We don't ask black men enough. Mm -hmm. How are you? Like, how are you feeling in I, life? I'm, I'm feel, I feel like, I feel, I feel blessed. I feel, I feel like, I feel like, 
God, like thank God, a man's got God, like thank God, isn't it? Like thank God, I got, I got family, I got friends, and yeah, I'm, 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 I'm blessed, man, and I'm always, I'm, 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 I'm still learning, like proper, like even that's why the song's called Lessons, like because I feel like what, like, bruv, like especially I always I, the the thing that winds me up the most, and I feel like what it, you waited twenty six years to be the most stupid like do you know what I mean like as in like I don't I saw even on the tune I say I've never been the type to be so reckless with decisions like so even for man it was like raw like okay you gotta learn like that's a proper like you got there's bare things you gotta learn from this and like it, on your journey to becoming like the man who you need to like, I always talk about I'm the musician I wanna be in my career as well it's like bruv like cool that that situation in itself 100% shows bruv you got going to do, and it's a bit, and it's jokes because women always look at it and think, bruv, you men take long to grow, bruv. 26, you're a big man, bruv, about you, you're still growing. And it's like, bruv, I'll, I'll, I'll say, hand on my heart, like, yeah, man, still, man, still, grow, man, that lesson, that that situation, sure, man, 100%, bruv, you're still, you're, you've got a lot to learn, bro. And like, you got to, you got to learn from this and you got to use it to to become the man who you should be in it, like, the, you, to be, to be a man and understand no, like when someone gives you the world, you don't this just you don't you you act very considerately, like do you know what I mean? You you if you're gonna like just bear things, like bear things from that situation, it's like okay, like I've got to use that to to become a better man. So yeah, and I'm I'm gr- I'm gr- I'm growing and I'm learning. Do you know what I mean? I ain't af- I'm never afraid to say that because I'll be the first person to tell you, bro, I'm the baddest MC. Like pick up a mic, no, 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 no. Like, I'll, I'll also be the first person to tell you. Man's learning, bruv. I got bare floors. What do you mean? Like, I got bare floors, bruv. Like, man, make, uh, bruv, like, I, I got, like, I sometimes, I got, sometimes I got a bad temper. Like, sometimes I can, um, I, I don't deal with, like, uh, what I go through well. Sometimes I flip in, I don't know, I chat rubbish. Sometimes I, you know, all these little, like, yeah, all these little things and I'm becoming a man. I'm becoming a man, but I, I'm, uh, Stormzy in the inverted comments like and I'm in the public I and I always do you know what I thought, do you know what, this is what I was gonna say to you even because I was thinking I, I kind of I kind of I, I was in the shower and I was this was the other day and I was thinking playing out the interview kind of like you know that you was thinking about me in the shower yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> but you know when you you know when you act out like conversations or arguments and and, and I was thinking like do you know what I find so jokes yeah I'm so and I don't know how it is for like, I don't know, in celebrity culture, music culture, but I think, bruv, man is so myself. Like, I'm so like, this is man. Like, when you hear man, this is man. And which is sometimes makes man feel like, bruv, what the bruv? This is, I'm, I am my, this is all man. Everything you see is, this is me. Like, and I'm doing it in the public eye. And I feel like, bruv, that's a lot. Like, being, being your wholehearted human self in the public eye with everyone looking at you, judging you, no, no, no. Because even this situation, bruv, even Lessons, like the lyrics came out um, before the album came out. They were everywhere yesterday. They were everywhere. And even that, you got people people throwing in their two pence, people discussing it. And then it's like, rah, like, that's my whole, that's my whole truth and her whole truth, isn't it? Like more, that's, forget my truth, that's her whole truth. And it's like, rah, this is all happening. Like, in this, but this is a reality that is like, can kind of be warped by like like celebrity culture. And it's like, nah, bro, that's man's reality. So even like, for example, like mental health or whatever, or all these little intricate topics, family, um, uh, community, uh, my blackness, all of these, all these things that man's going through in real life become a public, uh, it becomes things on the public domain, like my, uh, my political views, it's all, and it's like, bruv, hang on, that's man's reality. But man's so wholeheartedly, sometimes I think, Bruv, why are you, bruv, being this honest or like, bruv, I don't know, like it's like, bruv, like it's sometimes I think, bruv, maybe just hide a bit, like don't say nothing. But then I think, bruv, that's never been my truth. My truth is my truth wholeheartedly. And I, that's that's how I come in. That's how I started. That's what, that's what, that's, I, I like to think that's what people, like, that's my core, like my truth. So I got to keep my truth. But I guess it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot in it, like, but it's all good, I thank God, I got God, I got God, I got good people, I got friends, I got family, and I'm blessed, blessed, man, so, yeah. Storms, heavy is the head that <laughs> wears the crown, the bro. Exactly, man, exactly. A perfect title for your album. Thank you, Out much. now, thank you so much for joining me this thank morning, bro. Thank you, Dottie, man. I love you. I love you to too. To bits. Thank you, man, I And on it, just watching you continue to grow 
fills me with pride, bro. Thank you very much. Man. Best of luck with the album. Thank you, Doug. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. For more great audio and video from the BBC, listen on Sounds, watch on iPlayer.